Rachel Fitzgerald from the dugout in Durban North. This is Trend News. Dramatic moment as desperate mom throws her three children from the fourth floor of a burning building. Have a look okay, at this. Okay, the article's from The Sun. Dramatic moment, desperate mom throws her three children from the fourth floor of a burning building into the arms of rescue, rescuers below. A large crowd gathered at the base of the, build, of, of the building in South Korea. And here's the video. I'm going to show you the video now. It's just unbelievable. And there's the pictures of her children falling out of this building. But let's just get some background on this first. A mother has been forced to throw three young children from a fourth floor apartment window after the building became engulfed in flames. A large crowd gathered at the base of the building in South Korea as locals and members of the US military held blankets to catch a seven-month-old seven baby, a two-year-old, a, two a three-year-old and their mother when they plummeted from the ledge one by one. The US Air Defense personnel were visiting the Shongtan shopping district when they saw smoke bill billowing from the Crown Hotel and heard screaming. And there's the pictures of it. Wow. <laughs> Melanie Scott of the 30 35th Air Defense Artillery Brigade told DVIDS she saw a lady shimming down the side of the building and realized there was a woman holding a baby out of the window several floors up. The next thing I know we were both holding blankets to catch babies as a woman dropped them out of the windows. The mother, I can't pronounce the name, and her children miraculously survived the fall, which was caught on video. And we're going to watch that now. No. It was so difficult to drop my children, uh, she said. It was so dark in the room and the kids were coughing and crying when I saw people gathering uh, with, with the blanket. I thank, I thank my God. Local young men called emergency service and helped hold the blanket. The first little girl didn't land so well, which made me scared and worried about not being able to catch the other babies, Mr. Mr. Lee said. The children's father, Prince, I can't pronounce that, in Yoko, said he first saw the fire on his way home. I tried to help my family, but I couldn't. I was so surprised to see people gathering here to rescue my family. I felt so helpless. Okay, let's watch the video. Wow, what a video. Uh, you know, she jumped, she threw her kids out, and then she finally jumped out. She must have been so scared. And her kids, her kids must have been, it must have been like a nightmare sure. for them. No comment. But I'd be interested in yours. Sean Fitzgerald from the dugout in Durban North. This is Trend News. Good day on you.